is your character? He's a hero, he's a soul doctor, he's a lost man. <clears throat> what do you think about him? What I think about him, I think he personifies um, uh, a, so, a sort of um, release of people. I think in some way in, in the film it's, it's a metaphor, this locked community, it's a sort of metaphor for your locked psyche. And, and you need people that allow you uh, this uh, pursuit for enlightenment. So going beyond that. It's very, uh, you know, Platonist ideology, uh, which is the materialistic is not so much as evil, it's just a lesser good than the spiritual. And the people constantly get wrapped up within the materialistic and they can't quite get into the sense of enlightenment. And, and he, he's the conduit to that. At the same point, your character yes. in the movie disappeared. You went to the upside down. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, but I need no, to... <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah, yeah, Demogorgon. Yes. <laughs> I'm joking, but how does your, your life change after Stranger Things? After Stranger Things, it's great. I enjoyed the success. I, I didn't expect uh, what, uh, what we would get, and I don't think the writers, the writers had an idea because uh, initially they sent two different pieces one comedy and one um, much more nefarious sort of role, just to see where the span is, you know, within my character. So, um, uh, and then they decided to write me a part. They went, I got the gist. Uh, they wrote me like one, two episodes, and then we, I came, I did it. They wanted to keep me for longer, so three, four, four, four to five. Guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and he personifies joy and freedom, and this, uh, which is very different. If you saw in the first scene, it's this idea of this, communist state within this film, the way it, it is shown, it, it is much more locked existence, you know, locked from everything, emotion, everything. And it's a complete release of all of that into something that is human and the excitement for life and the curiosity for life. So it very much personifies really cool. joy. Do you yes. to be a superhero? And if you say yes, which one? A superhero? Um, I, I, oh God, I... I knew an answer to that question when I was 10. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. I don't know. Because it's a very difficult question because I think everybody would, would uh, you know, use you for your superpower in some ways. I would like to see a film on superpowers but in real life, on how, you know, you, you would be uh, less treated uh, like a symbol but more how people can use you because they will instantly have a materialistic gain from that. So I would like to see that film, that is for sure. Yes, Maybe yes. the next one. Maybe the next one, who knows? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.